Hi, Pisces. Okay, this is a daily reading. Let's see what's going on in this day, November 1st, you guys. What's the message here for the day of November 1st for my Pisces? November 1st, what's the message that I need to get to Pisces here? November 1st, 2020, what is the message, Spirit? All right, Pisces, the lovers here, Pisces. Okay, so I'm getting this energy that someone's making a decision to be in a partnership. There may be drama and chaos centered around someone making a decision about a partnership here um, that may be making someone feel left out in the cold. There's three people in this card here, and there's someone all the way in the back feeling left out here in the situation, you know, almost like, you know, someone watching, actually watching someone, watching something unfold, watching someone um, make a decision to run in the arms of another lover. Okay, so Pisces, we have the Five of Swords in your energy, and we have the Eight of Swords here. Okay, so a lot of Swords energy here, a lot of things in regards to communication, non-communication, or in relation to communication, right? That may or may not be taking place. Um, the Three of Pentacles here is in reverse with the overall energy with the Two of Wands. So I do feel like um, the overall energy, I get this energy that either you're... This is about like wanting someone to make a decision or a choice here. Um, it's about, you know, someone not wanting to work or put any more effort into a situation. Someone's really trying to figure out or make a decision if they in, either want to continue to work on this or if they not don't want to continue to work on this, right? Um, That's what I'm seeing. So the five of swords energy here, if you see like this person is running away here from something, right? Um, I do feel like... The Five of Swords energy in um, the tarot, you know, what I see is in this energy here, it does feel like Pisces, you may feel like you are fighting a lose, losing battle here, you know, with someone. Um, and it could have to do with your communication or your words, you know, what you're saying. You feel like um, at this point, either you feel like you're being run over or you're not being understood um you're being dismissed you're feeling like you're having to like it's just better to run away from this situation and to communicate it maybe you feel like someone's not understanding you they're not getting it i also feel like there is a lot of like energy like um mental your mental energy here really feels like you feel like it's you against someone else you truly feel like someone is not understanding you. They may be taking what you're saying the wrong way, but that five of swords energy also is in your energy. So that's letting me know that you may be feeling what this is what you feel like someone is doing towards you. You may be coming off in this energy as someone who is trying to explain themselves, but you're coming off as defensive, maybe even kind of like um, undermined um, And you may feel that way. Uh, a lot of aggression, aggression here when it comes to your communication. So it's trying to explain yourself this could be you feeling like someone doesn't understand you and feeling like you have to say things here that may be very hurtful in order to get someone to understand where you're coming from, okay? I do feel like there could be a bit of, you know, um, animosity here in your communication, um, but it's more of trying to probably try to get someone to understand or see where you're coming from is what I'm seeing. But the way that this person may be responding to you is I do feel like they are trying to really not look at, they're trying to look at this situation um, out of a place where they're just focusing on what they're thinking about. So someone here, I do get the energy that they may be definitely trying to see things from your perspective here. Um, I do feel like this person is definitely trying to not be tunnel vision in regards to what you're saying and only see things from their perspective. They are trying to be optimistic and positive here in regards to why you're responding like this or why you're um, choosing to uh, communicate your thoughts in this way. But the way your thoughts are coming out is based off of what you feel. You feel like someone is against you. You feel like everyone is against you. You feel like, you know, this person 
person may not be understanding. You feel like your your words are being run over, or someone is being running you over, you know, or you're trying to run me over or play me or something like this. So you're, the way you're coming may be a very defensive, okay, let me try to win this conversation or win this war or get you to see this. But it's all about, you know, how you say it and how you deliver it. Uh, so just be mindful of that. I do feel like this person is definitely trying to understand you. They're trying to stop being in the box. They're trying to think out of their box is what I'm hearing. So this is what I'm seeing here, okay? Um, I do feel like this is your, your, your inability to like express yourself in a more positive way. It's coming off as very like very rushed, very defensive, very direct. And I feel like their energy is that they're trying to understand where you're coming from. They're trying to be positive. But ultimately, you're trying to figure out if you even want to put any effort, any more effort into this. You know, why am I fighting a losing battle is what you feel like I'm fighting a fucking losing battle by continuing to say the same thing or trying to express something here. And you may even feel like you're hurting yourself by doing this, you know. So you're just like, I don't even want to put any effort or the work to this. Why am I even making a decision to do this here? You know, you want to make sure that this person is on the same page as you are. Yeah, I'm hearing teamwork, team player. Um, but I do feel like this person is definitely looking at something from your perspective. I do feel like they're coming out of their head. They're, uh, it's almost like they're trying to be optimistic here about the way you feel or the way that someone is making you feel. For some of you guys, this could be a job situation. This could be like, you know, on the job career. For some of you guys, this could have to do a love relationship and just basic communication and understanding. So what is the message that I need to get to Pisces in regards to this? What is the advice yeah, the Knight of Swords, definitely the way we deliver our message here, you know, in a very friendly way um, or not. Someone may feel like someone's making decisions and looking at, they feel like they're on the outside. Like I was saying with the lovers, it could be like someone feeling like they're on the outside of a situation. Let's see. Yeah, King of Swords could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aries here in this energy. Again, the Three of Pentacles is in reverse. So it's like the lack of teamwork, okay? The lack of the inability, unable to trust or believe something that someone is saying, you know? And it just, just makes someone very upset. And possibly it makes you feel very upset. But Pisces, with this King of Swords energy, the advice that I definitely would give you is to um, stand in your power, be very direct, be very blunt with what you're communicating. Um, I don't feel like you should deter away from what it is that you're thinking, but there is a different way of communicating it or saying something here. Okay. You have to be mindful how you deliver your messages and the approach that you use is what spirit is telling me here. Okay. All right. That's what I'm seeing here. Hmm. All right. So yeah, Pisces, just be very disciplined um, and just be very decide, like be decisive and be disciplined with your communication. That's all I have to say. Please be disciplined and be very decisive with your communication. It's very important that you do this when you're communicating with or you're you're running into this situation here, whether it's work, whether it's uh, legals, whether it's you have to be very disciplined. And you have to be very decisive with your communication. Now is not the time to, what's the word? Now is not the time to um, have any type of emotional displays or make it as if that someone is trying to attack you or come after you. You have to come at this from a different perspective. You have to be very logical. You have to use a logical approach. And you have to be very, um, hmm. I don't know if it's philosophical. listen maybe listen very closely to what someone is saying um is one thing that i'm getting that you need to do you need to listen very closely to what's being said maybe read between the lines but don't let your emotions get the best of you okay spirit just told me let this person say everything that they need to say and then speak and then give your advice or your opinions. You need to be even handed with this, okay? And very objective. That's what I'm seeing, you guys. Yeah. I don't know why also, yeah, this is this is what I'm feeling. I'm trying to see if there's anything else coming out here.
Okay, so they want they want me to tell you that you need to respect, show some type of respect, discernment. Like, um, it's you just have to going to be respectful with your communication. To be honest, you have to be respectful with your communication in some way, even if you feel like you're wrong, even if you feel like someone's attacking you, even if you feel like someone's trying to run over you, even if you feel like you're not being heard in some way. Um, they still want me to let you know that you need to be respectful in your delivery in some way here, okay? Or respect someone's viewpoint or their their thoughts or their the way that they're communicating in some way. Because I don't feel like this person, the energy looks like this person is definitely trying to be optimistic here um, in regards to a situation. And you may not, in the current moment, you just may feel like you're being attacked or not being understood. But um, you have to be decisive and you have to be very direct with your communication, but in a very respectful way.